Good morning, neighbors. This is Steph with Resort TV One Homes, brokered by EXP Realty. Uh, we are with the referral division, and uh, we're in the neighborhood of Lakeland this morning. They have a brand new park that just opened within the last year. It's perfect for families traveling from Tampa to Orlando. It's a great stop to get Wiggles out. They've got a lot of stuff for uh, small children and big children and a lot of fun things for families. So we're just gonna take a quick tour. I'm not gonna go in the buildings today, uh, but I do wanna show you what they have here available. So I'm gonna drive and we're gonna ride along. Okay, so we are just a couple miles south of I-4 off of exit 31 at Kathleen Road and um, we come in from the entrance over this direction. Um, the name of the park is Bonnet Springs Park, and it's really well marked from the road of George Jenkins. And um, we, I'm just uh, getting turned around here so I can show you all the cool things. So this is open from 6 a.m. to, um, to sunset. And they do have gates blocking uh, blocking it off um, when it is time for park close. Uh, this is a beautiful boulevard here, and then it turns into a um, two-way road like normal. Beautiful sculpture here. This is the Ken Carton Johnson Family Archway. And the first thing we come upon is the Welcome Center. It's over here. This is the Hollis Family Welcome Center and Ag America Heritage Gardens. It's a beautiful building here. You can see it right around the trees. And as we continue on this road, we will come across the Florida Children's Museum. And they also have a beautiful, this beautiful paved walking path around the entire park. And they've got some fitness structures and some other things and it goes all the way to the playground and the event center this is just a really beautiful space so this over here is the florida children's museum and a family lawn for picnics and whatnot um i looked at their website the other day and it looks fabulous i cannot wait to take liam here you can see some of the sculptures between the trees here. Let me see if I can get you a better look. Um, it's about $15 per person per day. And, uh, or if you live here in Florida, it's $120 plus $20 for, a, per person for a year long membership. And this just, I'm intrigued by this yellow dinosaur or alligator sculpture. This just looks, so fun um, to for play outside. Um, can't anyway. I can't wait to bring Liam here. The speed limit through here is uh, 20 miles an hour. Of course, in the parking lots, be very careful as children are excited to go play. They may run out and so we want to be very careful as we travel through the parking lots um, the walking ground the walking path uh, continues on around the side here um, next to the children's museum they do have a lovely united way facility as well um, and look here you can see a train coming we are next to the train tracks so most of this park is hidden from the Kathleen Road Sykes Boulevard um, so you can't exactly see it per se um, from the road but uh, Google Maps is very helpful so I'm gonna pull in here and show you this building as well I'm actually gonna park and get out and uh, show it to you because it looks like so much fun. This is the Ruthven family playground and this is a map of the whole area. You can see how much uh, fun stuff they have packed into this little bitty 
space of land. It's super cool and I can't wait to show you. This is, um, I assume, the public bathroom structure and the park, or the playground area, I'm sorry. So this is daylight to dusk. Here's some of the rules, just in case you're curious. And uh, this just looks like a really fun space. I can't wait to bring Liam here. Um, You enjoyed those pictures of the park since I don't have a child with me I don't want to get too much in detail but when we bring Liam back I'll make sure and post some pictures and uh, uh, do some more things with that um, down here is part of our lovely events center and part of the walk um, and just some beautiful grounds and landscaping with the hills and things in this area it's just it's really lovely here they do have a lot of benches along the path and um, and a lot of shade and they also have trees that are going to grow for more shade. I'm really excited to see over the next few years how lovely uh, the space will be as the trees grow. This over here is the botanical gardens and the event center. So they do have, uh, today it looks like they have a corporate private event. Um, there is more information about hosting events on the website for bonnetspringspark.com and uh, they also have a lovely butterfly garden. I can't wait to dig more into that too. Uh, that just seems like such a beautiful thing to help our environment here and um, I'm just I'm really excited that they have it here. I can't wait to uh, look more into that. And it is spring here. If you can see these lovely yellow trees, everything is all in bloom and the trees are, most of them are full of leaves now. <laughs> Some of them are not. Uh, it looks like those are flagged. Um, but they just have some beautiful walking places here. The path comes all the way down here. Um, they have plenty of parking for big events. Uh, the driving path does not go all the way around, but the walking path does. So you just kind of have to pick out where you want to walk and where you're going to park. There's parking at each of the the event center, the the playground, and the um, the children's museum. <clears throat> so you just need to pick how far you want to walk. This is a lovely space to bring pets and children and you know, you can get inside, there's a lot of shade. It's just really beautiful here. One thing I did read on the website is that um, this park was built with private funds from some of the, uh, with private funds from some of the wealthier families or the business owners here. Um, but it has been turned over to public operations and it does depend on donations. Here's a beautiful climbing structure down in the trees uh, for children along with, I mean, there's just so much down in there. They, there's another playground back behind that. You can see the park staff are out working today um, in the middle of the week. They're really taking care of it. It's just, it, I'm, this is my first trip here, so I'm really excited to share this with you. as we go by here. This is back at the Children's Museum. You can see the Children's Museum from the Harden Sykes Road. So uh, Kathleen Harden Sykes, <laughs> it's all the same road. <laughs> uh, 
uh, you can see it, uh, this part from the road, but uh, you have to get across the tracks on George Jenkins Boulevard and then make a right hand turn uh, to get into the park. It's well marked on Google. Um, it was really helpful in planning our visits. Each one of these locations has a is part of the Bonnet Springs Park website and then uh, they each have their own website. And I'll make sure and post the links in the description. Here we are back at the front. So thank you for joining me today on this very quick tour. I'm sorry it's so quick. I only have a few minutes today, but I can't wait to dig more into this. And of course, when I bring the family, we'll do another little vlog. Um, but I was happy to show this uh, and go take you on my adventure today. This is something I'm really looking forward to sharing in the next several weeks as we try and hibernate from the sun through the summer. <laughs> Uh, so thank you for joining me okay neighbors thank you for joining me on this very quick tour sorry it wasn't very long this week but uh, I'm looking forward to doing more here when we have the family together and um, so for now won't you be my neighbor bye bye